This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. I'm uh, doing second half of a video on the pinball tables that are going to be in the well-played arcade cabinet. Uh, they're all made by, uh, well, they're all modeled on Zachari Zacharia Pinball. Uh, Magic Pixel is the developer of that game, and these are what are going to be in them. So... Uh, last time we took a look at the tables, uh, 13 of them that were from 1978 to 1982. Now we're going to take a look at the tables that are uh, 1983 uh, to the end run of the last of the Zacharia tables that were uh, physically made. Since then, Magic Pixel has gone and uh, redone quite a few <laughs> in all different styles and manners. Um, and uh, maybe we can preview those and kind of give a taste of maybe what uh, would be available for future downloads into the cabinet, as we've been told that they're allowed to do. But that being said, here we go. We're going to start with a Time Machine from 1983. This typically is the table that is free uh, when you download any of the Zacharia apps. This thing is all kinds of wacky. So look at this. you got four flippers. And that play field in the middle, we're going to see what we can do, actually raises. I just got to figure out. Oh! I got uh, brutalized by a notification there. So I believe what we got to do is... Ah, so usually when you have four flippers like that, the gap in between is death. These, look at that, there's a, a piece of plastic on the uh, on the blue one there, so it can actually trap the ball. Um, oh my gosh, this table is weird. No, <laughs> how, would I, how would I fall out the bottom of that one? I was really hoping to uh, to raise that play field though, because it's something something of a mechanical wonder there. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I guess it was already raised, and then I don't get to shoot. But that's how you shoot the uh, the back targets by dropping that out of the way. Okay, moving on. We got too many tables to uh, to go through the dilly dally. Here we go. Pinball Champ, not to be confused with Pinball Champ '82. This is now Pinball Champ '83. Yeah, apparently they liked the theme so much they wanted to go for it again. Very similar, isn't it? Similar artwork, similar upper playfield. Once again, using. Uh, Williams sounds. The good news is that these tables offer uh, offer a fairly good challenge, and they're different enough from what you're typically used to that it's not just going to be same old same old. Of uh, you know, if you wind up there, we go. If you wind up um, getting this and and another one of the cabs that are out there, you're not going to be repeating yourself. Again, where the, that slingshot placement is little, it's not the most severe narrow, but again, it, it just cuts off so much of your flipper. Which 
gives it an old school feel, like what would you'd find on an EM, while still being a more modern or modernish table. Oh, I know this. Uh, this sounds like space. Um, yeah, space shuttle from Williams. I think that's what this is reminding me of. I don't know. Let me know. What is this from? You guys recognize it, right? That's kind of the knock I have, though, on Zacharia. It just feels like they were uh, borrowing <laughs> sometimes from from the other manufacturers. So they kind of the uh, kind of become the budget. Uh, version. These machines were built like tanks, though. Alright, far fallout. This thing is like just psychedelic in colors. It's nuts. I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's like, whereas most of your your pinball tables were were all about uh, you know dragons and swords and hot chicks and bikinis kind of thing. This is a couple on a bridge holding hands and butterflies on your uh, drop targets. <laughs> it's just a completely different... I mean, I guess you would say that this is a fantasy uh, table? Could be? I don't know, but it's... It just feels like this is a very 60s machine <laughs> being made in 1983 or 84 by this point. I'm not sure. I think this one's from 84. I still haven't hit that ramp, did I? Nope. Didn't hit the ramp on the left. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was from '83. Uh, so, Devil Rider, 1984. Devil I assume this is supposed to be ride. Evil Knievel. Uh, well, watch that a little. You go. Wow. That's ball. Oh, there's a flipper over there. That's wacky. You see that? So it doesn't flip until you, on the uh, on the left and right, on the out lane. You can't flip that flipper until it hits that switch. I mean, I would have never never thought to even think that there was a flipper there. Be nice if I could hit a ramp, huh? Oh, 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 there we go. See, oh, boom. See that? Time that right. You can flick it back up. Looks like there's drop targets underneath the ramp. That one's down now. Oh, and I didn't. And, yep, the ramp raised. So now there's drop targets. So those ramps are kind of... Why is the ball not dropping? Wow. <laughs> that house balled me. <laughs> Amazing. See that? Just does not want to drop. I don't know, that's what I don't... Uh, those metal ramps, they look like they're paper thin. So it's hard to... even recognize that there was... Yeah, oh my gosh. This ball launch is... impossible. Who knew that I'd have so many problems just on the launching ball? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's continue, huh? <laughs> uh, Magic Castle. Magic Castle. Welcome to Zachary's Magic Castle. So, in case again, pinball history, what you're wondering of what is going on? Wow, that's dark up there. Um. 
this point, Bally had put out things Dang like her. Centaur and uh, Eight Ball Deluxe. Williams was really hurting, and they put out Space Shuttle, which wound up saving their company. I don't know if everybody was hurting in the pinball world at that time, because Bally's last hurrah was basically for a little while. Uh, I think 82 was about their peak, and then all of a sudden they started doing some tables that nobody really knows about. Maybe like your Medusa or stuff like that. Um, but you, know, you had tables like Spectrum and Vector and just nothing that grabbed the attention of anybody. Particularly. Um, I don't know, Williams was doing Blackwater and Gorgar and uh, Black Knight, I think. I could be wrong, Black Knight might have been after Space Shuttle, but Point being, this was kind of the point in time where pinball was losing out hardcore to video games, and they needed to reinvent themselves. And then you got Zacharia over here doing weird layouts. All right, let's go on to the oh-so-descriptive robot. Robot. <laughs> Challenge the robot from Zacharia. See, he said Zacharia. See, if the robot says Zacharia, then it's clearly not Zacharia. Oh, let's check that out. Kind of like that. In case you're wondering, no, I don't play Zachary Pinball that much. Or I should say, when I do play, I tend to play the uh, remake tables over the actual <laughs> real <laughs> versions. I got no nostalgia for these. These weren't in the arcades that I grew up with, so... That is a really dark playfield up there. There's like, if you notice that little scrunchy thing, that's actually a ramp of some sort. Whoa, that was a ramp too. What was that? Well, that was that kind of a scoop that's on Pool Champion. I'm gonna see if I can get in. It's on the left side. It looks like. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these robot arms or robots. I don't know what are they? They got little happy faces. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Nope, that was the middle ramp. Hmm. So I'm saying, where you expect the ball to come off the flipper isn't necessarily where the ball comes off the flipper. <laughs> So your angles on these tables are not what you are used to, and that'll throw you off too. We're out of bonus time. All right, moving on. Clown! Oh boy. Because the clown on Hurricane and Comet and Cyclone isn't creepy enough. You gotta go with Italian clowns on a really red table. Oh, hey, I actually tilted. Go figure. Didn't know that was possible. Oh, that's a lot of red. You see how it's got that bar running right down the middle? I believe that's because, oops, it winds up having something that travels across the table, but I hate that it blocks your view of 
so much. Um, that might not be an issue in person, but in the digital realm, where you can't change your, your angle of stance. Not ideal. Oh, hey, look, it's yet another pool champion table. This one's from 1985. Let's see how it differs from pool champ 82 and pool champ 83. I mean, you know, if you can't, uh... Oh, nice. If you can't recycle, uh, themes, then what good are you? Okay, look, I love this ultra macho Italian dude. Cigarette hanging out of his mouth. If you're wondering where censorship uh, issues would come in, that's uh, my bet is not going to be featured on the well-played table because they are censored versions. So you'll just have weird Italian dude instead of smoking weird Italian dude. Also notice that that flipper there at the top of the playfield does nothing. You have no control over that. Which is just like... I don't know why. I guess it maybe it automatically opens up at some point. Maybe that's what it is, but you don't have control over it. So maybe it's acting like a gate, but it, visually it's confusing to me. Again, some of the choices that Zachary made at the time are a little bit odd. Um, whether it was just made do with what you got. Or what? I don't know. No, it's not a saucer up at the top there that I haven't been able to get the ball to settle into. Oh, right through it. So I think that's a saucer. It's not a saucer? Yeah. It's really shallow, though. Like, the ball has rolled over a couple of times, but it's not... What happened there? So you see how the ball... Lo watch the ball in the pop bumpers. I'm noticing graphical errors now. Um, the ball looks like it's traveling through the plastic. Ah. Well, just rewind the video and you'll see it. Um, watch. When it goes really fast. If I can get it back up there. Definitely on the second ball you can see it. That's where I noticed it. There, see? Unless those pop bumpers were transparent, which it doesn't look like it, but you can certainly see the ball underneath. It's okay. Mystic Star 1986, the um, Magic Pixel team. Exceedingly small. We're talking just a handful of people that work on these and Considering the size of their team, they've done a really outstanding job. Well, that was a slow launch. Ooh. I'm saying ooh. I don't like the, uh, the plinky sound. Sounds like this is a five-star, or I mean a five-star, a uh, five-ball table. This is very early solid-state sounding. Um, like when they just got rid of the bells and chimes of electromechanical. Kind of weird that there's a total step back in, uh, in tech, if you will. You know, gone are the voices and Now, I've not bothered adjusting any of the lighting on mine 
Um, and I doubt you'll be able to adjust the lighting either on the well-played machine. So that's kind of why I've left it this way. But if you so are so inclined to purchase these via Steam, uh, know that you do have full control over the lighting. That's one of the highlights of this particular pinball simulation that people uh, really like. Alright, let's continue. Black Belt! Black belt. Let's see how many stereotypes we have on this table. <laughs> oh good lord, I'm just seeing the dude right in the middle. is that <laughs> oh my god the sounds here see it's almost like uh william has finally noticed them and said hey quit using our sound packages <laughs> and they went uh-oh and they had to start from scratch it sounds like somebody going mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. think about it, I really do wonder if that's what happened. That Williams was like, hey, quit pilfering our sound. Get your own. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't call this table Chop Saki. time on this for not having a clue. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna let this drain out. I feel like I can be on this one for a while. Especially since I just earned an extra ball, so we're just gonna drain this out. And, uh... And yeah, well, wait, I don't even have to drain it out. Oh, well, no, I want to save. Uh, we'll go back maybe. That's fine. Alright, uh, what do we got here? What is that, Mexico 86? Is that what this is? Looks like a World Cup. Yeah, Mexico 86, so I'm assuming this is... <laughs> Ole, Mexico! So I don't know, was there a World Cup in 86? I don't follow soccer, so... I only know World Cup 94 because, you know, there's a table of that name. <laughs> I want to get into that upper, uh, upper left-hand section. Oh, oh, well, I got there and then I blew it because I wasn't paying attention. So it's a gate there. I can't get through it that way. I got to go through the... Uh, through on the right. It really is the biggest challenge of these tables, trying to figure out where you're supposed to shoot, because it just is not intuitive. Once you're used to these tables, that's a whole other story. But right now, since I haven't played these in forever, um, I'm at a loss and uh, offers a certain certain challenge there. All 
All right, what is this now? Zancor. Zancor. Oh, we got some music. Look at that, there's another bumper, or I mean, uh, another flipper up there just being used as a, uh, a gate of sorts. All the way at the top by the, uh, by the inlanes there. Weird pinball choice design there. It's weird, right? And I'm trying to eyeball how do you get up to the upper play field? I can't see it. Oh, maybe that did it. Ah. It's got to be one of those two ramps on the left side. Oh, that one. So is it the ramp on the right side on the left? We'll never find out because our game time bonus is over. All right, almost done here. Spooky. Spooky. Welcome to the world of darkness. Another exceptionally dark table. Those pop bumpers hide a whole bunch. Oof. I'm doing well. Let's try to help ourselves. Oh, I just noticed there's a flipper up there. It was hiding. Oh, this one's gonna be over, over relatively quick. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can activate that flipper on the uh, fling up. Oh, I was trying to get into that. What is it? Like a volcano or something? I don't know. Okay, last table of these. That would be Stars Phoenix. Stars Phoenix. Let's you... Uh, hey, look at that. It's another flipper up there. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Is that a flipper? Um, nice wide tie, dude. I didn't notice what year this was. Was this uh, 86, I believe? And I'll let you in on a little secret here. Not that it's a huge secret. Um, if you play the Stars Phoenix remake, I'm the voice on it. Another secret, Jared is the voice, I believe, it's on Fire Mountain. So it's kind of fun, Magic Pixel, when they were doing the remakes. Uh, they might still be doing this, I don't know. Um, they were getting volunteers to do the uh, all the call-outs. And who am I to turn down the opportunity to be immortalized on a pinball machine? This is where I'm confused, though. So, the dude's playing craps in a bowling alley? Does that make sense? 
I don't know. It's like, yeah, we're a casino theme, but we're also a bowling theme. We don't know what we are. But then when you hear the title, Stars Phoenix, you think, space. So, <laughs> very, uh, very all over the map. What are we doing? Hitting lemonades up there? Drain out of this real quick because I want to show you all a quick preview of what you potentially, and I don't know this, I can't confirm. I guess I gotta wait for the uh, bonus thing to drain me out. I can't confirm for sure what uh, is going to be for sale later on on the well played cab, but assuming it is other Zacharia tables. So these were all the, the Salt State tables were all the real-world tables that Zachariah made. But then there was also these. They also made electromechanical tables. So then, Magic so Magic Pixel has those that they can offer, but then Magic Pixel went and did all their remakes. They did all 27 tables of those. They've just recently started doing their deluxe tables. Those are a possibility. I think those will require um, well played to actually come up with a some sort of score display. And then there's the retro tables where they turned all of the 27 tables that you'll be getting on the well-played machine into electromechanical tables. So I have a feeling that's uh, just a preview of what you are possibly going to be getting when it comes to what you can potentially... Uh, uh, I mean, there's Wi-Fi on the well-played machine, so there's got to be a reason for that, and it's probably right there. So anyway, that's uh, that's it. Those are the, uh, if you watched the first video and then this one, those are the 27 tables that are going to be included on the well-played arcade machine as was announced uh, or confirmed today which tables they were. Uh, hope that helps in your buying decisions and until next time, bye bye